What, another drone? Why do you need another one? If you have one of these, this is how this drone will change everything. New must-have drones are announced pretty often these days, and even though I'd love an Inspire 3, I really don't have a job for it. Here's why the DJI Avata will change everything for drone flyers in a few ways. We're also gonna look how easy it is to enter the FPV space using this kit. We're also gonna look how we control this drone differently. And lastly, we'll be looking at why the DJI Avata is in the sweet spot for UK drone flyers, especially if you have the A2 CFC. So exactly what is the problem with normal Mavic footage? Mavics are amazing for photographs, especially, and you can get some pretty neat footage from them too. But the problem is that like every prosumer drone, you're only really gonna get B-roll footage from it. I've got hours and hours of amazing drone footage that's only ever gonna see the inside of my ever-expanding group of hard drives. And why? Because it's boring. Only very few people are actually really interested on seeing your town from above. And nobody goes searching for it online. I've got many really nice videos of local areas and the only way that people ever look at that video is if you put it in local groups. So how can the Avata change that? You can get close, really close. Now, I don't mean you get within a meter of uninvolved people, because that would just be daft. What I mean is the camera on this Avata can tell stories like no other camera. So let's first look at how not to do a story with a drone. And then we're gonna look at how you can actually tell an amazing story with a drone and look at the difference. So one was shot with a regular drone and the other one was shot with an FPV Cinewoop. Footage from drones like this can be jerky, it can be clunky and it's very unengaging. And what's more, if you fly in a small space, you could hit a propeller and that's the end of your drone and it might hurt somebody too. This is exactly why I turned down a job recently flying in this sort of situation. It just wasn't worth the risk and I thought the footage you would get really wouldn't be worth it. So using a Cinewoop or an Avata, you can actually fly much closer to people. Just like this. Now, neither of the videos I've featured here are mine, but I just wish I'd shot this one. I mean, the skill of this pilot, and I'm gonna call them a pilot because they truly are, is amazing. I mean, it's just what an engaging video. You get to see bits you'd never seen before. You get to see people having fun. And you just couldn't do this with a regular drone. I mean, look at it. It's just amazing. My hat's off to this person under them, around them. Some excellent sound uh, design here as well to add to it. But it's just amazing. The links for these are in the description. The props on this are ducted. You're not going to catch the props on things. You're not going to hurt somebody as much because they're unlikely to catch themselves on it. And the other thing about these is because you're flying through the goggles, you can actually see much better where you're going. And you can judge distances much better and see that you can actually get through a gap. And it's not gonna matter if you catch something because it'll bump off mostly. I'm gonna go into a bit more detail later about the rules around the Avata. Of course, Cine Whoops are not new. They've been around for years. The learning curve between a regular GPS drone and a Cine Whoop has been pretty big. You've got soldering, 3S batteries, 4S batteries, optimal charging, different communication protocols, digital or analog, radio controller set up, no GPS or return to home, and you'll even need a naked GoPro. Do you even know what that is? Even learning the controls is a big barrier. Just like Apple didn't invent the smartphone, it wasn't until the first iPhone that smartphones really came of age. Do you think this would be the same with FPV drones and cine whoops? Let me know in the comments what you think. In summary, the Avata gives access to that FPV world without really having all the knowledge necessary to build your own. DJI have made it easy to just plug this in and fly it. Another reason it's easier to get into this is because the control. Unlike pretty much any other drone, apart from maybe the DJI FPV drone, you use a controller like this. This is effectively a point and shoot. You press this button and it will go in the direction of the little circle on the screen. That's it, you let go, it'll stop. You press this button, it'll break. It's like, it's like flying a Skeletrix set. It makes flying the drone really intuitive. I think just about anybody could fly these drones. Of course, if you wanna do a barrel roll or dive down the side of a building, you're gonna need the regular DJI FPV controller. 
which isn't the same one as comes with the, the standard cinematic drones. Even in manual, we have a pause option. Even if you end up in a spin, DJI has still got a way to save your drone. And let's not forget the other features that come with it, like GPS, hovering, turn to home when the battery's low. So what qualifications do you need here in the UK to fly this? So as I'm recording this in the spring of 2023, you can fly this in the A3 subcategory and you'll need a flyer ID and the operator ID. And that means you must fly 150 meters away from built up and recreational areas. There's also a minimum separation distance of 50 meters between the drone and uninvolved people. However, if you've got the A2 CFC, because this is less than 500 grams, you can fly this with zero separation distance to uninvolved people, but no intentional overflight, which actually opens up a massive load of places you can fly it. This drone is loud, so if you're planning to fly remotely close to people, then be prepared and be well-versed in the laws. And when you get people ask you, be charming when they approach you and explain calmly to them what they are. In both instances, you're gonna need a spotter to be with you while you're flying. So while you're in the goggles, you have to have somebody beside you who can keep VLOS of the drone so they don't lose sight of it. I'm about to have my first flight fairly soon. I'm looking forward to it when the rain stops, but I've got a couple of obstacles I need to overcome. I've always had motion sickness whenever I've tried like a VR headset, it didn't go well. So I'm hoping that I can stay in the headset long enough to overcome that. As I've been making this video, DJI have announced that the goggles two will also work with the DJI Mini Pro and the Mavic 3 series. So maybe that'd be my next video. If that interests you, then please click the subscribe button and like I say, that'll probably be the next video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and hopefully this one will also interest you.